Hello everybody, welcome to an episode of the Zancast. Now, this one's going to be a little different. Um, we're going to be taking a look at Absolute Dead Zone in the beginning, and we're going to get on to how it would normally be for the rest of it. So we're going to be watching a little of these along with each other, and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about the process of making it and how everything is and explaining a few things because there is apparently there's been some confusion I've been hearing some people confused about it but uh, let's start it off now when I first heard the shining theme I'm like wow this is really good and I said hey I'll incorporate it in this and no I got no copyright warning for it so it's all good So what just happened right there is I, I I was the one on the right, right? Let me just get back. Skip back. Uh, where is it? Christ. So the one on the right that does not have a shirt on, it's not like demonizes me. And the one on the left is dead zone. I was cloned. And I was cloned to that. That is how that works. See, there's now a demon version of me and the Satanist the worshiper guy, the worshiper of Hades Crayon. Um it duplicated me for that. There you go. And this is a year later. February 2003. I just thought I'd check in, my lord. It's been a year. I think I would care. I could replace you any time if I want. But I'm rather waiting for the challenge. That's foolish. He's a weak, powerless child. And in case you didn't affect is supposed to be there, I, I didn't, there's no, like, messed up video me. file or anything, that's how it's supposed do. to be. Shut up! <gasps> of course, that's, he died. Hello, John News here. Local five-year-old known as Brute to Death on the Playground has been bludgeoned on the back of the head today in what is a massive tragedy. It's, been, it's left him with some type of speaking disorder. I mean, as you do this to him, for all he knows, he'll probably never speak again. Now, I, now I love that part about, um, with Brute to Death. Um, Cause I, I mean, as you know, Brute of Death died in one, in one of my videos. I believe it was, it was, it was the most recent Jeff video. I don't, I don't specifically remember what it was called, but um, he died in that, and he, yeah, he's a beloved character. And I try to use this series to, I try to put a, a bunch of other characters in there that you know, cause you know they've they've always been around and they've always been doing things, but you know it's just like you got you got to know, you know. Because not only is this the origin story for Dead Zone, this is the origin story for Brute to Death as well. But you should listen to me, because all these problems go away. I brought you a gift. It's a head cage. Why is it that noise? You communicate. Try it on. Please don't put me on wiki feet again. That'd be terrible. Not twice. Time to replace it. <laughs> Here's the second one. Here we are. Actually, Dead Zone 2. I'm not, you know, I'm not too sure if I like the yellow or Which is why I changed the thumbnail bit for the film. Permanent replacement. 
Oh yes, about time. So as you see here, yes, Dead Zone was hiding in the closet. Who as the all great hell things are. You? Are. you know how they say that everyone has a doppelganger? Well, that would be me, except I'm a little... I'm a little different. Very. Basically, uh, and then he sprays a knockout spray. It knocks me out. I collapse to the floor. I painted that Batman thing. If you see that in the corner. Uh, um, and then here is where he's buried. You're not sure how much is actually in clear. The um, the pitch of the voice, especially in episode two, is unclear. Very like unclear for some reason. Not sure why, it's just mainly this one. But. Really thought you have me I did I also changed a lot of the lines in this one because I wasn't you know I wasn't good with them. I actually did that a lot with the third part too. <laughs> I changed a lot of how the third part ran. Oh your life is gonna be so cool on this when I ruin it on your See that part where I look behind me? It also happened. What did it happen again? Yeah, I think it happened in part three. I heard something fall, and that's why I turned my head back. I didn't cut it out just because you know what? Maybe his nerves are on edge. You know, maybe. Maybe you could possibly believe that you know he's like oh no he's coming up, he's coming out of the ground but no. And you can hear my dog barking in the background, which she sounds pretty cool when it's sent, when it, uh, the deepness of this. And there's the book. I developed that book cover too, that cover looked pretty cool. Good. Almost ready for phase two. Phase two of this amazing plan. And believe it or not, like forever, and have him be his fool. Hades Crayon is the first character I ever came up with. Uh, I came, I came up with it in a hard times, and I just picked up a red crayon. And it really spawned from there. So yeah, Hades Crayon, the first time the first character. So for your sake, and especially mine, and that is the end of part two. Actually, not yet. The whispers. Or maybe sand games, 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 games. The winds of the future, church, church. So this part, the whispering might seem really confusing. They're, they are whisp the whispers of the future, you know, and it's it's this thing that exists. It is canon. Um, is the again the winds of the future, and then they tell you the future. That is Zanzoon Canon 101 right there. Um, now, in the script of the the Jeff origin. That I did a bit, but I don't even I can't not doing it now, for obvious reasons. Unless unless possibly, I feel like it someday. I just get up and I'm like, hey. I mean, maybe maybe I'll do it, but it, there it does t talk about the winds of the future in it. So it's not even done though. Like it's battle, 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 it's probably battle. um gonna be it's like coming, as long coming, as the Danger Strings coming. script, maybe a little shorter. Which made a 10 minute video, so if that says anything, then yeah. And now we're at part 3. I wanted the vibe to be a bit different in part 3. So that's why instead of doing the, you know, the shining thing, I did these bells, and I think it worked out pretty well. Like if I'm being honest, and then there you go. Originally that red in was all just the yellow, but made some changes. And then I did the whispering thing here. Really different vibe. That I picked to do for um, part three. 
And part three is pretty good from five. I mean, I'm gonna pause, pause the video before I get anything started. Um, originally reindeer blood was just him being castrated, which are two very different things. Um, yeah, one's, yeah, that's just different. So there, there, there is that. But uh, yeah, I said no, I'm just gonna have the reindeer blood thing done, and then that that just sounded better. And um, the fake blood is still in my hand because it does not come off. Never get, never use neon really. pink. I did what I had for to anything. To fix my image. Well, this plant helped me find you, and it wrote down on a piece of paper that you'd be paralyzed but through reindeer blood. You which I also had to um I changed the I changed the script a bit because it kind of made me sound evil because it's supposed to make dead zone sound evil but then you know the way that I had myself talk it's like I kind of sound like a murderer too I'm like that's not a good idea so I I made a few changes and I just said well instead of and instead of how just brutal it was I I kind of calmed it down a bit, and I said, "I'm just gonna throw a thing of reindeer blood at him. That 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 is way less gruesome than cutting any part of him off." And then, you know, then I just said, "Okay, well, this doesn't kill him; it just paralyzes him." And then there you go. I mean, yeah, eventually, since he's paralyzed and nobody cares about him, he'll die. But he won't die because I killed him. He'll die because he just has to. If that makes sense. Plant, but you know. It it's now right here, November seventh, twenty seventeen. This is me. I came up out of the ground. Why did I just come out of the ground? Oh. This must be a dream. I hear and see it talking. And this is this is Jeff's first interaction with me. Like this is his real first one. About a year later, he ends up in the cooking video, and it's because it's because of this moment. Cause he, he helps me, so I wanna I wanna bring him into a cooking video, and that's how the whole thing starts. And like what he's talking about in the coffee video freaks me out. And then yeah, cause l let me just let me just explain something about Jeff right now. Um. He, the reason Jeff hates me is because he just wanted to do a Let's Play video and I attacked him. So then he immediately thinks, okay, what can I do? Then he partners with Hades Crayon as his new underling instead of Dead Zone. And then he wants to kill me. So there, there you go. He was honestly just trying to be friends. It's also part of the thing that, like, he always hated. Pause this again. He always hated Dead Zone and I look just like him. So he's just like, okay, well, this makes it a little easier. A load of shit. You are a serial killer and a demonized clone. I just want you to see Tinkerbell in the background right behind my elbow. Yeah, okay, cool. Possibly be worse than She's also to my left over there. He. <laughs> Can't trick me, Dead Zone. He's not real. Killing me. Makes you just like me. You know it. Can't escape me. I actually won't be lucky. You don't even die. Dead Zone... Dead Zone isn't a person. It's an idea. And it fades to red, yes. Dead Zone isn't a person, it's an idea. Now... I don't know, let me, let, let me just skip back to like... Why I did the red. Uh, well, let me see, we'll, uh, pause there. Uh, it fades to red.
because that's just essentially like, oh, you know, he's done, he can't move, it's over. I would have it fade to black, but I just like, ah, the red, the red kind of fits. Um, so now for the next 15 minutes, we're going to be in normal podcast format, and I'm going to be talking about my favorite Zanzo moments, and also things that, videos that I've planned out, but I'm not necessarily going to be doing. So all that is coming now. Alright, so this podcast has been a pretty lit one. And honestly, I've enjoyed this podcast. It's honestly one of my favorite things on the channels. So the, the fact that I was, I'm bringing up my favorite moments, it has to be this podcast. You know, I've talked about so much on this podcast. It's been a real, it's been a real learning experience. Like if you don't know me, if you don't know me and you listen to this podcast, you can really get to, I guess, understand who I am a, a bit more. And you know, that's that's really like the big intention I have from this. If I wasn't continuing from the, the channel. Definitely would be this podcast. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of great moments on this podcast. And like the Jeff, Jeff the Plant. Um, back when he was a plant, you know, those those years are great. They're still great now, but it's way more limited, I think, uh, of what I can do. But um, you know, definitely, Jeff the Jeff the Jeff the Plant stuff is great. You know, when you go on YouTube and you're looking at what's still left in sketch comedy, there's not much. There's not much sketch comedy left, and that's that's kind of a problem. And this isn't really sketch comedy, though. You know, I mean, maybe maybe some of the stuff I do is like sketch comedy. You see the the football skit I had, the re- done recently. I think that was really really good. Um, and I've always wanted I've always wanted to do a football skit for years and years and years, and I'm like okay, and then I finally wrote one, and I'm just like, well, this turned out pretty great. Because a lot of people I know that don't even watch my channel at all, like, saw that video and said, I love this, but I'm still not going to watch anything else that you do, but I'm going to watch this. I mean, yeah, not all my friends watch my channel. Like, I think only maybe, like, 25% of them actually watch it, so that's great. Um, yeah, that's always, that's always nice. But also, another thing I liked, the Who Shock Pajama Head Man series, um, I really, really, really love that. It's, it was the first big thing that I ever did, like, with a huge script, and I just wrote all the stuff out, and it was in three parts, and it was just amazing, and it, it showed, it showcased a lot of my characters, and it showed what these characters are capable of, what they do, and again, it was just great, you know, I like showcasing all my characters, and a lot of the characters, a lot of the characters... You know, you don't really understand, you don't really know the background of, you don't really know all that stuff. Um, the King of Stuff. The King of Stuff was a, one of my favorite characters, and I I explained him a bit. There's the video where he died, there's a video that was all about the King of Stuff, and it really told you about him. It wasn't really, like, his origin, it just tells you who he is, and what he does, it tells you a little more about him. But the King of Stuff was, was burnt alive, so there is that. But you know, yeah, um, a lot, a lot of loose ends. There's a lot of loose ends. Um, I don't know if I want to say it because mental. Maybe I'll come back one day and I'll explain it all. But um, I mean, who, who, who? Out of all my characters, who messes with this fire? You know, it's a, it's a really like common sense type thing right there. And of course, um, yeah, you know. I enjoy a lot of these characters. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over a bit of the characters and you know my thought process and you know of a lot of them. You know, I think I think Brute the Death is a very very good character. I mean, obviously we learned his we learned his origin. Everybody learned it. Everybody learned his origin like in in the um, absolute Dead Zone Part One video, which kind of made the character dark. You know. It, because how his, like, origin was, and he, I mean, everybody just thought he was this character that just, you know, grunted and did weird faces, but no, he was hit in the back of the head with, like, a, I forget what I said it was, I think I said it was a brick, I'm not entirely sure now, but that's, that is what happened, and then he has the head cage that came from dead, the Dead Zone, which allowed him to speak. I mean, you know, I'm really glad I did the, 
I'm really glad I did the origin of that because it it really allowed the character to you know we really have sympathy for the character now and maybe maybe you always did because I've had a lot of people say that they like that character and I had a lot of people mad at me when I killed him off so then that's that's how that goes but you know for characters like um Marvin the Tough Marvin the Tough is really just primarily primarily yeah a just XUW wrestling character you know he doesn't really have a backstory or anything like that to really work off of he's just a regular guy um same with the pajama head man I mean yeah his head is literally like leg shaped which is the point of, of him I don't know but um yeah there's no really backstory to that I mean I could do one but you know, this, there there was never really intention to be one. The true thing there was intended to be a backstory of was Jeff the Plant, and um, yes, Dangerous Strings is connected to Jeff the Plant. If anybody was wondering, yes, that is a confirmed fact so far. Um, I mean, because really, why wouldn't it be? You know, it mentioned the laboratory. It mentioned the disaster of the year before they made 9/11. The person, not obviously, not the tragedy um yeah you know it it was all connected to that but again I'm not doing that now and I have I ended up writing I wrote a big chunk of the script for it but well I'm quitting so again I might I might put it out you know I might just say hey it's December I'm gonna put out this video even though I already quit but you know cuz it's it's pretty good um is it the best thing I've done so far? Oh, I'm not done with it, so I don't know. I mean, I, I at least got like... 100 some words left to put in it, and then there you go. Because I worked on that quite a bit. Same with the absolute dead zone thing, I worked on that so much. I'm trying to think of what other, um... Probably have them in my phone, what other cancelled video ideas I didn't get to do. Um... I did intend to do more of the Let's Plays, but I might, um... Like... I want to do more Spider-Man and stuff like that. I might do that on Twitch because, I mean, personally, I rather uh, I rather live stream than like uh, actually film and upload because that's really what that's really what made me I guess fall out of it, you know, because I just got stressed and just editing is just editing is so bad. Especially on like the the programs I have. When I had Premiere, it was it was fun to edit. You know, you had all the tools you needed. You had all the stuff. Then I then the computer said you actually have the trial version, and it's actually expired. Now, did I have the trial? No, um, I didn't, and I do now. And then I used HitFilm. Never, ever, ever ever install hip film unless you want to beat your head into a wall that is my suggestion but um I had to use it for absolute dead zone because it has effects I've been using DaVinci Resolve which is I can't edit I have to use hit film again for this because you can't stretch an image on Resolve for some reason for more than five minutes so you know, I gotta use stupid hit film again. I hate hit film, you know? But um, what things was I supposed to do? I was gonna do three more episodes of Mortal Kombat. I was gonna do like six more Spider-Man, two more Red Dead, and three more Mario Maker. All that's can now. Um, try to think of... Obviously, I was gonna do another continuation of Jeff video, and then I was gonna do the origin um video. But again, that all that all got scrapped, and it's real sad. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring this up. One of my favorite moments from the channel is um the documentary, the documentary series I did based on the channel. Um, especially part two when I had several of my friends say why they liked the channel, and I think that was a really good video. But you know, the the fact of the matter is, um. It's it's it, it's ending now, and that's just unfortunate. I mean, I've 
I'll say I'll, I'll say more stuff like this in like the, the my final video, which I believe is coming out the twenty fourth. So, um, but until then, until the twenty fourth, um, well, we got this big gap in between. And I don't, I'm I don't know if I'm doing any videos or not. You know, not not entirely sure. I might I might not. Um. If I do, they're probably gonna be live streamed because I can't stand uploading videos anymore. It just hurts, especially editing, you know. But um, yeah, yeah. But seed of Jeff. That that was that was the title of the Jeff thing I was gonna do, and believe me, the thumbnail probably just would have been a gigantic almond with like a light shining onto it, because why not? It just sounded like a good idea to me. But I don't know. Um, I've really done anything on the channel. I think I needed to, you know. And that's 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 the important thing. Um, wait, so many sketches could have done though. And I had so many. I had ideas for new characters, but I don't remember what they were. I think I was gonna do a talking water bottle. Well, that's just kind of weird. But you know that that fits in with the dude with the head cage, pretty well. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, let me just say something about Dead Zone. Um, yes, Dead Zone dies in part three of Absolute Dead Zone. Well, he eventually would die, but uh, a year later, like in Halloween 2018, and keeping on Absolute Dead Zone, as I showed, takes place in 2017. Um, a year later in 2018 on Halloween, Dead Zone comes back. Now. That is a clone of a clone, and it gets activated when he died. It's the only one, so technically he's still out there. This is storytelling at its finest. I don't know how I'm creative, but I am, I guess. I've been told I am by half the people in every comment of my video, so I guess that tells me something. But yeah, um... I'm going to get ready to wrap this podcast up, so uh, thank you everybody for listening. This might be the last one. I might continue on another channel. I might continue on Etching the Stars. Um, I don't know why, though, because it's a wrestling channel primarily for Etching the Stars wrestling, but who knows? Sure, why not? Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you, I don't know, maybe in my last video, or maybe I'll live stream something in between. Who knows? Bye.